Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you five ketovore meals that my family eats every week. The very first meal is taco bowls. These are so easy, quick, simple, and you can make them any way you want them. We just take ground beef that we have from a local butcher that has organ meat mixed in with it, so it's even more nutritious. I make my own taco seasoning. It's super simple, but you can use whatever taco seasoning that you like. And then we just put it in a bowl and top it with our favorite things. I like to use some cilantro, tomato, onion, of course. Sometimes I even make guacamole. Now I have several ways that I make guacamole, but here's the most fun way. I use Element electrolytes. I use the mango chili flavor and it tastes like you're eating a mango, like mango, guacamole it's so good i don't even know why i did this i just was playing around with some new flavors that they sent me like a year ago and i put it on there and it was fantastic element is actually sponsoring this video if you don't know about element they are perfectly made electrolytes that have magnesium and sodium and potassium and no sugar added no additives no weird stuff they taste great in water of course but i do like to add them to some of my recipes like my guacamole also put them in my coffee and right now element is offering a free sample packet with any purchase if you go to the link in the description and i'll put it on the screen as well it comes with eight different flavors for you to try out to see which one you like best highly recommend the chocolate salt and the watermelon thanks to element for sponsoring this video the second meal that we eat pretty much every week is hamburger bowls, bunless hamburgers, whatever you want to call it. And we all do it differently. So I like to put onions on mine and cheese. Beckett just wants cheese on his plain cheeseburger, nothing else. If something else touches his burger, he will not eat it. He's three. Ken obviously just eats a cheeseburger. Uh, sometimes he puts cheese on it, but usually it's just a burger, but we just season with Redmond's garlic pepper salt. Their seasoning salt. And my friend Melissa actually has a Big Mac sauce recipe on her blog. I'll put it in the description. And I like to add that sometimes for a little something extra. I do like primal steak seasoning on there as well sometimes. It's simple. It's just a burger, right? You just patty it out, put it in the skillet, and then add whatever toppings that you like. The third meal that we usually eat every week is steak. Uh, very simple, we just cook our steak either in a hot, hot skillet. We like our steaks rare to blue rare. Sometimes we cook them in the air fryer, but we always season them with the garlic, pepper, Redmond salt. It never disappoints. It, it makes kind of like a crust on the outside of the steak, which is really nice. Sometimes we use a cast iron skillet. We used to use cast iron every single time. Then we got these new skillets and we use those a lot. But any way you want to cook a steak is, you know, a good way to go. We usually, eat ribeyes. Uh, very rarely will we eat any other cut just because we like that fat. But if you're someone who's wanting a different cut, you can always just add butter if you want an extra fat in your steak. You can also put hollandaise sauce on top of your steak, which is a super easy thing to make and is very, very clean. Like it's just eggs basically and butter. And I always throw some onions on top. The fourth thing we really love to eat is pork ribs. Uh, we have a friend that has a smoker and he will smoke them for us sometimes. Uh, Melissa has a dry rub recipe on her blog. I'll link that too. And then the other way that I like to do it is just low and slow in the oven. That's actually what we had for Christmas dinner last year was uh, ribs <laughs> and everybody liked it. I'll get the fattiest ribs that I can find. They're budget friendly. Most of the time pork ribs are under ten dollars. Pork ribs are really budget friendly. They're super fatty and they're delicious and I don't have a problem with eating pork so that's another great way to stay within your budget and get a fatty cut of delicious meat that pretty much the whole family is going to enjoy. Beckett loves ribs. He actually cut his teeth on ribs when he was a baby. That was one of his first foods. We would eat the meat off of the ribs and then give him what was ever what was left over. He would suck on it and gnaw on it. And to this day, he still loves ribs. And the last meal that we eat every week is bacon and eggs, but in multiple ways. So sometimes I do a breakfast bowl with bacon and eggs. Sometimes we do omelets. Sometimes we do frittatas, meat frittatas. 
Uh, traditionally, frittatas have vegetables in them, but you don't have to do it that way. It can just be bacon and sausage. You can even throw some steak in there and a whole bunch of yummy eggs. Dr. Barry likes to make what he calls flat eggs. We actually showed our uh, flat egg cooking process in our private community. So if you want to see that video, then I'll put the link to that in the description below. We just get the skillet very, very hot, put butter or bacon fat in there, and then scramble the eggs and then pour them in and kind of almost make like a crepe out of the egg and then we fold it over and fold it over and sometimes we throw some cheese in there too. It makes for a very delicious breakfast and sometimes dinner, breakfast for dinner is pretty common in this household. <laughs> uh, for the past three days actually I've eaten breakfast for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and it was amazing. So that's just five of the meals that we eat on repeat in this house. I hope it maybe gave you a few ideas. If it did, make sure you hit that thumb and leave a comment of what meal you eat on repeat weekly. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you, mean it. Bye.